Here we are. So, welcome back everybody. Let's play Ori in the Blind Forest. I did say this episode would be an episode of getting stuff collected. That's exactly what I intended to do. Like new things like ability cells. Allow us to get more abilities. First one I'm going to collect just because this is a lot of things that I have a feeling I'm going to be needing this for. I need it sense just so I can see through walls a little bit more easily. However that works. So I can pick up all this stuff around me. So I've got all the 100% done. I guess there's a super 100% completion everywhere. But I'll pick up ability cells when I can. Um, because I'd like to make sure I get all my abilities before I finish up the game. Just for good measure. See everything this game has to offer. Because even if I'm doing a Let's Play Blind, I still do, of course, want to show up everything the game has. Bonk. I could have gone that before. Boom! Normal level up. Don't see many of those. Come on. Yeah, there's no way I'd be anywhere near my level that I'm at right now if it hadn't been a... It's like a green exclamation mark right there. If I hadn't been... I get as much stuff as I could the whole time. So, man, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of experience, but I guess I have everything here in Floor Ruins. I'm going to pick up that one experience thing that I happened to miss. So, we can go down. I'll just figure things out and I'll uh, cut to when I find the stuff that I need, I guess. Because this episode is just going to be a bunch of me going to different places and getting stuff. So, I'll see you in a minute, guys. Wherever I happen to find myself. And here's another one. Man, it feels weird to come back here after so much time. Having passed. That was no experience at all. Wow. But here we are. Hello, tree. I just love to spend some time here. Music, the aesthetics, everything. It's not the one big safe place in this whole place. Love that music so much. Now. I believe the next place I really have to go is, uh, I want to go down to Sunken Glades down here and pick up that ability point with the other experience over there. I guess I'll just, I guess I'll head down there and then from there head on up and get everything I need over here. I guess that's the plan. Alright, so I guess I'll head on over there and see ya when I get back. One moment, guys. You know, I've also decided that I should probably just keep stuff in, actually. Uh, keep in some of the searching around. Because otherwise, if I only hi uh, keep in the highlights of me finding stuff, I'm not really going to have any actual video content for this episode. So, I'm going to keep talking about stuff when I find these things and decide to go along somewhere else. A long time since I've heard some of this music, though. I'm really happy, actually, to be able to uh, go back and explore places that I've not been to for such a long time. Not just because I can do a couple of new things there, but also because it's just been a really long time since I've seen them. The music, the atmosphere, everything's... It's all just the way I left it, which is actually one of the most awkward things, except for the water. It's the one different thing. Oh man, there's stuff all the way over there. Kind of like all down there too, but it feels like that won't really do much for me. I don't get any experience from these, uh, what are they called? From these spear light containers either, it looks like. The last one I got, I got, I couldn't even tell the rinse to my experience bar from that one. It takes so much experience to get a level at this point in the game. Or to get an ability point. This morning I could get up here. Now I have my answers. Uh, let's head on up and see what we can do. Not much up here. Down below, maybe. Oh, not gonna drop through. Not gonna drop through. All right. 
On the other hand, we still have actual ability points to pick up, ability cells. Being the means of do that, doing that. Oops. From here we can get to another. I have a feeling I'm not gonna get all the way to where I want to be from here. I think it's gonna be another matter of doing a big jump. Whoa! Hey, excuse me. What's this? Oh, I can't get any higher than this, though. Yeah, that's interesting. Why is this here? I remember there being current here. I guess I just never noticed it because when I was here, I didn't have that feather. But yeah, that wasn't a lot of experience at all. So I'm not going to waste my time going for those things. That's interesting to notice. And if I feel like cutting anything out just for the sake of time, I'll do that. But anyways, so I want to go back up into the left now so I can head on down here and get this particular ability cell. And explore a little bit too. I don't want to leave any parts of the map unexplored. Which you kind of have to not do. Anyways, so about 100% too. Looks like so. I love how it curves if you jump and move. Did I just contradict what I was going to do? No, I did not. Alright. And... Man, I can get through these places so easily now. I'm uncanny. All these things still have a decent amount of health, too, which is kind of awkward. Is this not a place that I can... Yeah, it is. This water doesn't look like it makes much sense right here. Hello. I can still go for some actual damage buffs, but oh well. Hello, thing. Well, some places more than others. Some of these ways are still pretty darn easy. But some of them actually always work, so... I don't feel like I've improved much in terms of actual raw power, but I have more crafty ways of addressing these things I've run into. The fish. You will just take on more enemies at once, maybe, but that's... Still. Anyways. So, if I go on right through here, through an area I've never been through, do some new stuff. Oh man, I found these spiders actually th only shot a single projectile. These things send me up in the air that I don't need any more at all. This place, I remember being so scared of this place. Sucked so much falling straight through the floor. Oh, so I'm going to have to uh, gain access first. That's why I never went through here. So, uh, how might I do that? life cell right there that I, I've only picked up so far through less than legitimate means. Really by accident, of course. So, I m must wonder, how might I accomplish this task of getting to where I want to be? Because that is a big question. I can go on up there. Maybe I can do it from there. I'm wondering if the switch to go into that other area is actually up with that life cell or with the energy cell. That's just going up here, however I might choose to do that. Crack. Two things, please. Oh, come on, I missed. And there we go. I should be able to break through this thing that I came across last time. Yep. Oh man, that thing is thick. Hello. Boom. So you can also say use that. Yeah, it's so interesting just revisiting old things. Oh man, I forgot those stationary pink spike things too. This energy cell does not seem to hold the key to the life cell. The life cell still might hold the key to 
the other stuff. Oh wait, never mind. Here we go. I still want to see if the swi switch is over here. I'm not seeing it. Yay! I see a little uh sigil over here, like a flag or something. Unless it's just like a that's a cobweb actually, I think. I just noticed him as a reference to a couple of things. Yeah, I see cobwebs in the background too, I think. So grand question of today is how we actually open this thing up. I know ability, whatever abilities I have are good enough to get this thing, because I have all the abilities. So I need to figure out what I need to do to get this thing now. See if there are any switches I can stomp, for example. I'm not seeing any wires going anywhere, like I sometimes do. That counts. Eliminates options right away. Wait a minute. No. That kind of looks like a giant, giant switch. For a moment. If you look at it just the right way. And the question is how... Huh? Oh! This episode is suddenly story relevant. Whoa, frame rate. Oh, is that a scroll type thing right there? I like scroll type things. Still though, how far away could this switch possibly be from the actual thing it's opening? It's not all the way in there. That's why I need to figure out to get in there. That's the thing they don't have an answer to. Oh, I know, I see one right here. Oh, reason being that this was a secret door, or a secret area. So it's nice I have this little ability now that lets me see through these things. I was wondering how it worked. I just assumed that we kind of increase the radius at which these things would become visible. But nope, it just makes them semi transparent. Whenever you're not in them, it's nice. I wish you could turn it off so you won't constantly be seeing inside of stuff when you don't want to. My, the one thing I was actually concerned about with that upgrade was just the aesthetics. Kind of being bummed out by it. But anyways. Oh, no, alright, come on. I have a place to be. I have lots of places to be. This is a new place, so be excited, please. So yeah, this is an old place that I could have been, gone to a long while back. But ability points are still ability points. Boom! So many things I've seen in a very long time. Elements and creatures and music and decor. Everything. It's amazing. Here we go. No, no, Ori's not really going to decide to behold that thing down here, I guess. She's kind of occupied by swimming. She's so sleek. She looks like she'd be so capable of, uh... Yeah, no notification or anything. She looks like she's just so perfect for swimming. Anyways, I didn't say I also wanted to re be able to resist stuff, because that's kind of cool. So I'm going to do that, and we might be able to find off ability points from here on out to one ability point. Um, maybe not. Looks like we're going to have to earn that last. Or no, two ability points, actually. Nah, three. Alright, so yeah, we'll be able to get that uh, last one without too much time having passed. So I guess you want to go on up through here, up to Thornfeld Swamp. Whoops. That means probably gonna see, see some sorry cutscene going up to Hollow Grove, northernmost part. But 
And once we do that, I think it should have 100% everywhere. Because it looks like everywhere else. Once I finish things up. Hollow Grove is only 72, but that's because I still have stuff to do. In terms of getting to this mountain. So I guess head on up here and then go on through. Make sure I find any uh, empty spots along the way. Alright, so I might cut some stuff out, might just heat the video in my mouth running, we'll see. Anyway, so up and up we go. It's interesting to see though how abilities are still applicable this whole time. The new ones that we're getting, like see all this air rushing upwards, we can actually use this air now. We never needed it, we still don't need it, but it's a nice convenience now. It's the only place where we can use our charge jump now to get places more quickly and more easily. Climbing on walls, all sorts of fun things. It's just so clear how the gameplay evolves in this. It's amazing to me. So how then might I get up here? Oh, the gust just kind of happens to immediately go up. Cool. Well, that's another ability to sell. And with that, another ability point. Yes! No, it feels like I should jump up a little bit more. Ha! Ah, just for the sake of clearing that. Oh, it's not going to get cleared out anymore, actually. Oh well. I was wondering if I could uh, fill in the map up there. Anyways, I think this game manually, not, not manually, automatically like fills out a large portion of the map for you at a single point in time. So forcing you to just manually traverse every single inch of an area, even if you've already seen everything, to actually get 100% map completion. Boom! No oh, high. Lots of little ones that do virtually no damage. In fact, half my damage for me is pretty much negligible. Man, I forgot about all these things, all the roading stuffs. And more gusts of wind to ride on. This is amazing. I love having this feather. I love how this game just integrated so much stuff from earlier. So it's the fun over here. That's the fun. And I can't see through this, I'm guessing there's nothing secret right here, but it's an interesting looking patch of wood. Especially given that it's not located on a tree. Very peculiar. Now, what we are more interested in is this. And this music. I haven't heard a single piece of music in this game that I haven't loved. And it's like I'm hearing a song for the first time too, I don't quite remember all that well. Mostly because I'm talking the entire time and I don't have my volume up too high. Uh, so just down and down we go. I'm gonna go pick up this energy cell and then the experience up there just so I can get 100% mat completion. And this thing down here. So that means up here and then around and down. So all the way to the right and then down. Alright. Yeah, I hear the game's main melody in this song. I love that so much. I really want to look for this game's soundtrack after I complete it, because I am loving every bit of it so far. I'm very happy to be able to say I just enjoy everything about this game as much as I do. For such a variety of reasons. I mean, it seems like I kind of actually value gameplay as a secondary thing sometimes, because I just love presentation so much. It matters a lot to me, because I look for the experience in the game, and presentation is a huge part of that. Whereas just playing a game for fun can also be cool too, but I, it's not what I look for as much. One hit kill. Amazing! Take more one hit kills. In fact, to be killed multiple times in one blow, that's even better. I love its visuals, I love its sounds, I love its music, I love its art style, its character design. Its story is not the most in-depth thing, but I still like it anyways. Uh, nothing I want to do over here. Just go down and left. So I'm very happy to have been playing through this game so far. Especially playing it blind. Definitely do not in any way to perform regret that. Oh man, I pick up these things quickly now for once. Darn turret type things. Uh, nope, that's not the right way. That water is amazing looking. 
I wish my computer could actually not be angry with it. Hey, are you guys ever gonna go away? Boom! And just keep going down, going. I <laughs> think it kind of becomes apparent with how I do this stuff in terms of following a map that I'm not a very confident individual when it comes to certain things. It does following a map, given that I constantly check the map again and again. So just memorizing where I have to go and then doing it. Oops. It's only the thing for the restrict how even reaches me. Pretty places. I love water though. When it's when it can be portrayed nicely like it is in this game. I really like how it is actually how it's splintered with 2D and 3D. 3D background, well, 3D, yeah, 3D background basically, actually. I think this is actually 3D with 2D playable foreground. I guess it's a 2.5D game in a way, I'm not sure. When I hear 2.5D, I tend to think of some living planet. Well, this is breakable. Huh, how'd I, how'd I get in here before? Oh, I broke something else up there. I didn't get out because I couldn't get out that way. Not breaking that. That's interesting. So I can go back up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna have to go all the way down there too. So, wait, did I make a mistake by going right? I think I did, but oh well. Anyways, I guess it's going to be 2.5D, just because it's playstyle and art style. Although I think it looks very nice. There's so much depth, and they do such a weird and good same time job of making everything 2D in terms of gameplay, but still making it feel like you're going through a forest that is vast and expensive without just making the whole thing lateral. Cover a ton of vertical space, and some of that vertical space is. When was the last time I saved? Man. I'd be so bummed if I died. Oh. So I don't like these lasers. So like I was saying. Huh. I'd like to remember what I was saying. Which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, but this game, I mean, you look, everything's so, there's so much, oh, game, so much vertical at everything, but at the same time, it always feels like you're on ground level. In a way. Except when the game doesn't need you to feel like you're on ground level. And I don't understand how the game manages to do that, but it does it really well, whatever it does. There's virtually no damage by slicing through them. This is where I need to be going. It is. Up to the blue thing. Oh, I need to go that's something down here, too. Anything else I'm missing in here? Apparently not. Let's head on down there. See what we can do. I only need to go down. I can't go down, nub. Hmm. Up and up and up we climb. This game's transitions of this music are really nice too. So, I'd imagine... That if... I go down there, it'll be quicker. Oh, well, I'd probably be the same amount of time on the way. Going up or down first. Hello! I see stuff up there. How do I see stuff? Is there something I picked up up here, or what? No, this is just a nice little place you can go through. It isn't shown the map. That's kind of annoying, actually. In fact, I could have—I didn't have to go all the way through there. I could have just gone straight through here and saved myself a bunch of time. Darn it, game! 
Ah, uh, oh well. It's another super laggy place with a rainbow. Probably lag so much because all the water right here. It looks great, but man. So down goes the water first. There's a little experience thing that I want to pick up, but it happens to be in a portion of the map we haven't explored yet. Should it swim even faster? Oh, do you mash X to swim faster? Yeah, I thought I was holding X for some reason. Darn it. Me being dumb. Anyways. Whoa! Go on, Ori. Yeah, I have a lot more time to spare while I do it that way. So you can have time to spare, I don't have to worry about drowning. Woo! Not drowning. But, of course, there's something I can go through up here. Go to that. There's this thing here. Can I not look to the left? Can I look up, though? Oh, wait. So I thought that was probably the decor. Or just kind of part of the premise design, but... I was wondering where all those, all those all those spiky things were there. Why I couldn't actually touch them? You can go through here. Whoops. These things can be so easy to miss. And some more part of this area explored. That's just a little bit more experience for me. One step closer having all of our nice little abilities. Actually, crap, I need three more points after this next point. I don't know if I am going to manage to get all the abilities by the time I get through uh, Mount, Mount Horu. And there's surely some stuff that happens once I hit Mount Horu, but is it going to be stuff that gives me a lot of experience? Because I don't know if I'm actually going to get enough experience to get all this stuff. I mean, there's a number of experience things that I've missed. In a couple of places. I don't think that would amount to three levels. I would imagine this game would be designed so that if you got all the experience everywhere, you would have... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, some off-screen stuff to do. Okay. So now... We have another ability point to get... Or actually, not ability, but an energy cell, in fact, to get up above us. Oh man, this looks so pretty, and my computer hates it so much. Why do you have to hate my current kind of love computer? So, it doesn't look like this will charge up will suffice here. No. A triple charge jump will not do what we need, but air that for some reason is here and happens to have a sling of a purple tent toad at the bottom. We'll do what we need. Light has a purple tent, I don't know, because we supposedly purified this place. Anyways. Oh, energy cell. So we can save your game. In fact I'll do that right now. That is kind of an important thing to remember this late in the game. But we have more stuff to do over to the right, and that should throw us at 100% for our thorn felt thorn felt to swamp once we do it. All right, so that over there, and we'll be good. Uh, kind of. Have to go across the entire map. That's the exact uh, opposite part of the map. Darn it, man! Why'd I have to miss it while I was down there? Rather up there. I'll go get it anyway, since I don't really have a desire of having to do more stuff later. I don't want to fall short on things unless I just kind of absolutely have to without grinding an absurd amount. I'm not getting any experience from enemies anymore, though. Just about. So I don't know how I'm excited to get all the abilities if I can't get from all these points. Uh, I want to go up first. So I'm not too sure. And I guess maybe all the ab little ability bits 
of the spirit light containers and the uh, ability cells will eventually all add up to what I need. In terms of experience to get everything, but it doesn't look like it. And I'm not gonna get every single build. Spirit light container, I don't think. Just for the sake of being reasonable. In terms of not spending too much time running around collecting stuff. Anyways. Boom! And some experience. See, not a lot. I won't expect getting a couple more of those to actually give me 100%. Uh, in terms of experience, I mean. Ow. Not much ow, but. So I don't know. But I'll see you guys in a bit, because I have. Oops. Another place to head off to right now. A little far away. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll go pick that up. And I kind of want to not even record what I do. That's going to waste a bunch of hard drive space and everything. Anyway, see you in a minute. You guys have the luxury of not having to sit through all this. Why can't you pay for my mistakes? Level up. Wasn't expecting that, but all right. So I did say that I. It doesn't really matter what I say, I can really upgrade one more thing. So, boom! What's this thing like now? I haven't really paid attention to its damage before, but... Oh my god! Alright then. So that will help us out a little bit. I guess. It's not a very crazy amount of damage, though. It seems to be worth extra energy use. Also, I don't know what's up, no, what's up with these guys' projectiles. They're kind of bugging out graphically. Anyways, uh, see you in a minute. So, somehow I didn't notice this thing right here. Oh. Most because I didn't realize I could go through a wall, I guess. There's another ability cell, so I need two more levels to actually finish up everything in terms of experience. There's one more level right there. So if I can gather one more level throughout my journey in this game, I'll be able to cap all the abilities. So I'll make my journey back to where we need to be and that'll be it for this episode. See you in a minute, guys. Ow. Man, I remember walking through this path so long ago, not knowing what to do, and finding this one very very strong enemy. I about this thing. And figuring it was a good idea to turn back. I guess it was. Go away, please. Because, man, this is not going to be a nice place, is it? Phew. I already feel that. But. I have so much time to be playing this game, so... And so many spots for uploading it as well. That will have to be it for this episode of Let's Be Orient the Blind Forest, with one little last collectible. So many life cells. So with that... Here at the entrance of this last area. All the way up to Mount Huro... Huru, whoops. So much stuff collected. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundreds everywhere. Now it's time to finish what we started oh so long ago in Hollow Grove. Ah. And I think I'll probably at one point be able to pick this up if I can have experience fighting things. I just need this one level, and then another level from... Whoa, that's not where my map was. I'm fighting stuff. We'll see. Look at that. Oh, I'm missing one more, or rather, two more. Energy cells, too. I wonder where that could be. I'm missing experience there. 
a lot of experience here. Actually, that I didn't realize I was missing. Huh. But, unless I see that I'm missing experience somewhere on the map as is, which I don't think I am. That'll have to be the way things are. I guess another energy cell will be inside of Mount Haru. Because I, every time we've gone to some place we want to restore before, we have to go inside. That's an ability point. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not going to pick that ability point up. I just ventured out all the way up to Sora Pass and back. It looks like there'll probably be enough game left for me to get that last ability anyways. So, with something of a sense of finality, that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play Orange Blind Forest. Join us next time for what may or may not be the last, but it'll definitely be the beginning of the end. Bye guys.